Hey guys, so I'm back for part 6 of Soma. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday, I had some work stuff to take care of. But, but not much else to say, let's just go ahead and get into it. I did that. I don't know how close I am. I could look at the achievements to see how many more parts there are, but I guess that would kind of spoil things. jump and then I turn my mouse and it goes the direction I look. This is Omicron? Hope they save me a diving suit. Sorry guys. Hey buddy. You okay? Hey! Come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Oh, yeah. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. So she in stasis right now instead of actually dead? So let's follow the power cable, I guess. Are you gonna be friendly? No, you're just you're not even a robot. This little structure looks promising. Flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Did I hit this button? Yeah, my character's hurt a little bit, it's a little blurry. Let's see if I can find a health pack soon. That switch would open this door. Ooh. That's my guy's heart beating. You okay, buddy? 
Because he's still alive? Mm. We've seen plenty of them are already alive. Uh, it's, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't like stuff that has to do with wrists, like cutting wrists and things. I have a blood phobia and like that really acts it up. And that makes it feel like it's sucking my blood, and it makes me uncomfortable. Just exploring a bit before I turn on the power. Adam Galaski is ordered to come to Theta as soon as possible. Urgent. Ask. I tried to figure out what it was about, but they wouldn't tell me anything. All I know is they asked if you were missing or if you were dead. Something must have freaked them out. I think you better do as they tell you, Herbie. Next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Worthless. Cat? How are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. She is being very, very well so trusted. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. <laughs> Come on, be serious. I never felt that like. comfortable being human in the first place. <laughs> this isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Okay. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. That's an interesting theory. That is very, very interesting. Catherine, oh, it's like the slime game. Are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. <laughs> we lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. The world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. I'm, how do you mean? I'm afraid I miss to Toronto. stuff and miss and Not because dialogue. my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. So the question is... Because right now it looks obvious, like just. But it's not always gonna be that easy. So obviously we flip this one. Oh. Why did that make me jump? 
Um, are we trying to light as much as possible? Can I fail this? Or, oh, we're trying to get it all the way down there. I'm, I'm big dumb. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Oh, the terminal just lit up. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah. Well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how hmm. I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's quarantined. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Anything? Any idea who this is? Not really. Not that familiar with people at Omicron. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. All the black boxes are offline. Does Catherine have one? Let me see one. Oh, I keep it in the ah, ah, system updates. Update enables black boxes, fail safe, CRTH4, Carthage implemented. No standard XP. I solved it. <laughs> what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? This is obviously a trap. It's quarantined for a reason, and we're about to unquarantine it. Are you gonna jump scare me? He totally is. Epic. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something Puzzle wants solved. us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. I don't trust you, Catherine. Try one more time. I have to actually swipe it like that.
fucking open! And nobody's answering to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much air have you guys got? 20 minutes. Tops. Hey, I'm in red! Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Strasky. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate. Wait, Stress, what are you doing? Jeez. Do I have to listen to it? It did turn back on. I guessed it. Should I look around more for more lore? But it'll make these videos so much longer if I do is the issue. Hey buddy. What's that? Oh, I wanna replace the mod go so bad. See any dead bodies to strap into? What kind of bad news is in here? Alternative entrance. What do you mean? So I do have to go down here? Is that what it's saying? This had better be the right way. kind of glitching as if there's a monster nearby, but you see nothing. Although I do be hearing sounds. Feel right. This doesn't feel right. Back up. Maybe I just didn't position my mouse. Let's go on the other ladders. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. A little, a little finicky there. Let's 
find that shit and get out. Empty of thoughts. The same static again. goodies in here. So looks like we're playing another game. Obviously that's where I'm supposed to go, so let's go the other way. I'm not just doing this because I'm scared, I promise. Override at dive room control. Science are no good, man. <sighs> Is that, is that the monster? I can't tap into him, so that must be the monster. We're dealing with zombies. So there's a standing man in there. I don't remember who Ross is. Some type of medical center. Oh. Hmm. Is this just a hiding room?
Is it scarier without music or with music? I'm actually, I am a bit on, on edge right now. I am a bit on edge. Mercy. Oh. Yay, boys. Huh. Why can I not look around? Is this Omicron? Everything is so basic. I cannot so look limited. around. Oh god. I hope it's not the Amidol falling apart. Okay, we need to find a, a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss <laughs> without ending up like a recycled can of soda. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so, we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. Well, I'd be it is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant, just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. What else are we gonna do? Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Gee, I wonder where it is. Can we talk anymore? This where I'm... Okay. Oh, it's a lot less bulky than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. Ew! She should be a lot more bothered by it. These are her people. Oh my god. Pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperature spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 degrees Celsius while keeping a steady 4 degrees Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. HPS usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify where it is through a set of suit three systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. HPS tracking. Pod D, I'm pretty show. Not exactly great A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. 
The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead column, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Jeez. Yes, you're right. No remorse for wow. a colleague. What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Is it all in this room? Please? No! Okay. It couldn't be that easy, right? And now the monsters <laughs> respond. Okay. At least it's more lit up. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. I definitely hear sounds. Just don't know from where. Is that coming from my character? I wish Catherine was still talking to me. Hmm. I have no way of telling if I'm looking at an item I need to pick up or not. So I'll just grab everything. I really don't like this at all. It's not the biggest area. So I just came from here. I can't tell if it's footsteps or just this stuff squelching. Why was it doing that? Why was it doing that? God. Why is it red? Ruffy, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had, a remarkably, it had remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. We brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Shelly. 
Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse, something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Urvari I can't shut up about. Johan Ross. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what's happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the Arc team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Things. Did you move? How? He he was over there, what right? I came in through here and then I went up these stairs, so I'm here. And then where did I say I needed to Okay. It's not a sound I like particularly much. Hmm, remember when I said, is it creepier without the music? I was wrong. Oh, he's moving. Is he dangerous though? There's not really anywhere to hide or anything. It's relatively linear, so it can't be too much, right? Hmm. Cortex Diagnostics. Oh, okay, I see. Why wouldn't I just do that?
Oops, easy puzzle. Just some equations. Well, let's go see what this is it actually is this just a person? Oh, it's, it's very robot. Huh. Is that what WoW is trying to become? Health, but... Man, why do I keep freaking out like that? To the abyss, take it to Alpha in the abyss. Take what? Some triangle thing? In Tau, in Alpha, in Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Man, I don't, I don't really know what's going on lore wise anymore. Hey. Oh. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right. Mm -hmm. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Oh, what's it happening? Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Man, these sounds are creeping me out. Is there more? Guess not. God, what is that thing?
Oh, I need to go back down and override it, huh? Like, I don't know if the layout of this area is even something indicative of a monster. I thought I could override it. Just back up we go. I mean, there's three items I needed, and I only have. Because there's nowhere else to really go. Why does my character need to simulate breathing? Is my question. Mm -mm. So we have to do each floor? God. So this one behind me is a one room area. Let's take. Everybody's missing heads. What's going on with that? I know I've heard breathing. Is it this thing? I 100% hear breathing. System shock death. Has to be this thing. What the hell is going on? Lisa Cameron, the structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If I play the circuits, it seems to help out with the connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We can use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Pathology. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as the living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time, it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets were used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Chemical analysis. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same crosslink gel with a lined graphene and a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its control of the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never have even dreamed of. Study results. 
Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the wild beast structure trail. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and it's turned stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI. But it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. And Atkins or whatever, he was eating the gel like a loon hmm. I guess I oh yeah I need that <laughs> service required So I guess I need a new chip or to fix this chip or something. Oh Lord have mercy. Okay. This is gonna be an interesting puzzle. Do I have like a guideline? Where am I supposed to apply stuff? I like tap it. I'm assuming we want it on that thing. Okay, I guess it didn't matter. That's the stuff that's on my Omni tool. Do the mouse. Let's see if that does like. Does it actually do anything? Hmm. It came back to life. Or something like it. Hi, little buddy. Hmm. So it really is like bio mechanical life forms. Obtained. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need a structure gel, the circuit thing, and I don't know what the last item I needed was. But there's a third item I need. That's about all I need to know, I guess.
Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you... Why, why would you ask that? Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha? He wants me to go down to the Abyss and find it. Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie. I'm not at liberty to... I can't talk about that. Where's the site alpha? These are just creatures that had the goop put on them. Why are there so many health packs? It's concerning how many there are, considering there's no monsters as of yet. Anything to do in here? Doesn't look like it. Can I unplug things? No. So, is there nothing to do in this room? Hmm. Unless the stuff downstairs got unlocked. in the WoW. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron 1 or Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. So he, Ross has become like a computer virus? Weird. So does this mean the stuff downstairs is unlocked now? And maybe Ross is infecting me? The little stuff is. We have to st stop it. Stop what? Salt. I'm pretty sure I'm missing an item, but. Let's go back down here and just see. What else do we need? What else are we looking for? There has to be a power pack upstairs. Go upstairs. look for one. How do I get a- Go oh, look maybe for a power pack upstairs. Okay. So I guess that hallway... Probably one of the things opened up. Hmm. I can almost smell it. Ugh. Mashed it. Jump scare. Oh god. 
I got a piece of lead. Mm. Now the upstairs. Know nothing about yet, and this could very well be monster territory. So can I not understand them because the black box is in their heads? Is that what it is? I just sucked out of his skull. Sucked out of his skull. No, his skull is sucked out. Sucked out of his helmet. Words. They're difficult. God, not again. Came in through here. Or no. We came in through here. So let's try left first. Yeah, power room is ready to go, so we'll do dining hall and was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delinda Est. Delinda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from so their eyes to keep the them from overflowing. Yeah. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. Hmm. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Okay. Actually, wait. Is this a back button? On September 13th, Vic Auclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate move up to the plateaus. Together with engineer Alan, Alan Waldeck, I descended to the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering, and soon the whole path shut down, a mega sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my 
floodlight until I heard screaming over the short range radio. It carried on, kept breaking in and out of range. As it heard closer than investigated, it came upon a lesser body of field worker Espinosa. Something big had almost cut her in two. I conspired the importance of saving Tao and more specifically Ross as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people outside to their fates. With some luck, Ross made it back to the town and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I've decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumer probes. It's a good thing Gol Goloski is off-site because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it as long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. I guess this is very much just a lore episode. I'm gonna try and get uh, this section done before I call it. And another health pack, but there's no reason to use it. But although using them does make the power go out, so would that like affect some events if I just grabbed them all? Like, should I be grabbing every one that I see? and not saving them. I don't know. I don't know what the right call is. I'll have to look that up. I know, th like, I know there's nothing that changes the ending, but there's things that can change like little events. Uh oh. Something's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to go through the vents. Take the power supply, so Gosh, what is this breathing sound in here? It's totally breathing. This, this guy's dangerous. And he's right where I need to go. <gasps> what? Oh no. Why did the power go off now?
Do I approach them? I think that's my only option is to approach. God, no! No! I can't move! It did turn off the power, like I thought it would. Is that always going?
No, 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 no. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? We managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Oh my god, I'm shaking. <laughs> we need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. I'm so pumped full of adrenaline right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go. This is crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll work. I can't make words. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. But how do I know it's my consciousness going into it? It's not just another art situation. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it. Change body. Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. I think it's this one. There we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Can we talk anymore? No. No more go sit in the pilot seat. God, no monsters the whole Sorry episode, and then the end of it, that happens. It's like having your picture taken. Well, with the most Jesus. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Huh. Oh, nice little... There's no way to say that. This is... I don't know the proper word. I can't think right now. Hey, must be it's also 2 a.m. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. Mm, I knew it would be like that. It's two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. 
Whoa, let's not go there. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? Let's be nice. So cruel. Don't call well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. I don't want to kill him. No. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you disgusting. That's so unlike me. Is it more you may no that we're going to call it the end of this episode ran a little longer than anticipated um but this is what it is i i can't think straight right now <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far to this episode um i hope you're getting some type of enjoyment out of my misery i'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun i'm when i get likes and comments and see uh, views on TikTok and things. It just, it really makes my day and I, I appreciate you guys so much. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here and hopefully I can do another one tomorrow. So keep an eye out for it. Anyways, anyways you guys take care.